Hey guys, how you doing? I'm David Mathis. Thank you guys for tuning back into my channel. I really appreciate all the support. Um, it's been tremendous, all the comments, um, all the interaction. I really, really genuinely appreciate it. Um, if you guys are liking the content, please like, subscribe, and share. Hit that little notification button because I am putting out content regularly. Um, and today I wanna to talk about a certain topic called a caloric floor. Now what's a caloric floor? Basically a caloric floor is the lowest amount of calories that you would ever really want to get to. Uh, if you drop any lower than that, you're going to start experiencing some pretty evident and severe physiological problems, right? Hormones are already dropped because of, are already messed up a little bit because of the dieting process. Um, the closer you get to this core floor, the more you're going to see negative adaptations, um, thyroid issues, just some other metabolically um, negative effects from hitting this core floor and going under it for an extended period of time. This is really important to keep in mind when you're dieting, right? Um, you're doing a fat loss or you're doing a contest prep, whatever it is. This caloric floor is not something that you want to try to get to, okay? Now, it's there as a reference for you, and I'm going to explain a little bit how you get into figuring that out for your own individual self. Um, but the goal is to not try to get down to that, right? The goal is to try to diet and lose fat on the highest amount of calories possible. This caloric floor just gives you a reference for your own personal knowledge or your coach's knowledge um, to kind of understand when you start approaching it that there's going to be some negative adaptations that are occurring and that you might need to start taking some action as far as reverse dieting and things along that line if you're not losing weight and you're pretty close to that caloric floor. So I'm gonna use an example here. I've got my whiteboard and I wrote down an example here and I wanna show you how to figure out for yourself and calculate your own caloric floor um, because this is gonna be really important. Like I said before, if you're starting like a fat loss diet or contest prep, you kinda of wanna know what your lowest limit is, right? Like you do not want to go below this limit. Um, now people do it, um, and for short amount of time, short amount of time, yeah, it, it can be done, but it's not recommended. There are going to be health consequences if done for an extended period of time. It's also important to note, like I said before, if you're reaching your caloric floor and you're not losing weight, well, you probably need to reverse diet. You have um, a, an adaptive metabolism at that point, um, you cannot go any lower safely, and the only thing to do is to just add more activity, which is still going to be not as beneficial as trying to do a reverse diet, right? To get your metabolism back up to speed, firing, um, if you saw my other video about the fire example, about throwing logs on the fire and getting it uh, burning a little bit hotter, speeding up and stuff. So these are some things to consider and why it's important to know what your own personal core floor is. So the example I use is a 200 pound man at 20% body fat. I guess it could be a woman too, but I was just thinking in terms of a male. So 200 pounds, 20% body fat. So what you're first gonna wanna do is you're going to want to multiply the body weight by the percentage of body fat, right? So in this case, 0.2, because that represents 20%. So that is gonna give you 40 pounds, and that 40 pounds represents the amount of fat that you have on your body, okay? Step two is you wanna take that weight of 200 pounds, you wanna subtract that fat weight. That's gonna get you 160 pounds, which is your lean body mass. This does not mean pure muscle, guys, okay? This is your bones, this is your skin, this is your water, your organs, everything that is not fat on your body, okay? So lean body mass, and muscle mass are not the same thing. Then you get that 160 and you're gonna to wanna to divide that by 2.2. The reason 2.2 is because we wanna get your weight down into kilograms and one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. So you divide that 160 by 2.2 and you're gonna get 72.72, okay? So that is the amount of lean body mass in kilograms that you carry. You wanna take that 72.72 and you're gonna times that by 20. Uh, 20 calories represents 
the caloric floor, right? You wanna multiply that by your lean body mass in kilograms, and that's gonna give you a number similar, well, not similar, it's gonna be different based on whatever your body is and your body fat percentage. But in this case, that's gonna give you 1,454.4 kilocalories, right? That is the limit for this example. This person with this body weight, this amount of body fat, this is the lowest that they would wanna to get to, okay? Um, any lower than that, you're gonna start seeing some pretty severe um, physiological issues going on inside metabolically um, if you do that for an extended period of time. So the goal is to not try to get to this 1454, okay? You wanna stay away from it, but you need to know it as a reference for your dieting purposes, your fat loss purposes. Like I said before, I pointed out the examples. You wanna know when you're doing a fat loss, um, what is that point, that limit that you're gonna get down to? Like I said, you don't wanna get down to it, but if you needed to, and then you also want to know that if you get down to that limit and you're not losing any weight, you're not dropping any body fat, any body weight, then you need to go into a reverse diet because there's nowhere you can go down from there. You can only go up and you can do a conservative, slow reverse diet and bring that back up and speed up your metabolism. So knowing your caloric floor is very important for a lot of reasons if you have a physical transformation goal, right? So take a screenshot of that. And hopefully that helps you a little bit more. Now, when I work with clients, I immediately begin by figuring out um, what their personal caloric floor is. Because as a coach, I have a responsibility towards not only helping my clients get the best results they can, but doing so in the safest, most efficient manner. I am not a coach that is going to do quick fixes, right? I don't do 30 day fat loss challenges. I don't do things like that. I believe in a slow, steady approach and sustainability. Now, the reason I, under, I wanna figure out each person's caloric floor is because I want to know that whatever plan we're on, that there is a limit, right? Because it's easy when you start getting into a fat loss goal, weight loss goal, prep, whatever, to just wanna keep going, just wanna keep dropping. But you need to understand that the body doesn't necessarily work like that, right? There is going to be a point of diminishing returns. <clears throat> understanding your caloric floor gives you more tools to properly set up a fat loss diet, a contest prep, a reverse diet, things along those lines. So there are many factors that responsible, educated coaches take into consideration when starting with a client and working with a client throughout, helping them develop a plan, um, having a course of action that's going to be most effective for not only their own goals, but more efficient and safe for them along the process. So um, I hope that this helped a little bit. Like I said, take another picture. That's the formula, that's what I use to help try to figure out um, my client's caloric floor so that I can be a better more responsible coach for them in the long run. So if you guys have any questions about anything, um, please let me know. Um, leave it in the comment section below. I'm gonna leave my contact information for you guys to get a hold of me if you're interested in coaching um, or just have some questions in general. I thank you guys for tuning in. Um, the response to these videos have been amazing. I'm working on getting even better content out for you guys pretty soon. Um, but what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of taking a lot of questions that I get from people through DMs and Instagram and trying to help turn those into videos because if somebody has a question, most likely many, many other people have that same question. So um, I hope I'm helping educate a little bit. Hope you're getting something out of this. Um, like I said before, like, subscribe, and share if you are. Hit that little notification button and I will be back soon with another video. If you guys have any requests for content, please reach out to me or leave it in the comment section below. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.